630 on your Monday morning. Thanks for spending some time with us here on Good Day Austin. Did you both get rain at your house yesterday? Yeah. Vice President Kamala Harris making another campaign stop on Wednesday in the Midwest. Harris skipped the Israeli Prime Minister's address to Congress. A mega merger in the grocery store world is getting put on hold. A federal agency wants to examine artificial intelligence effects in consumer pricing. A man accused of chasing two people with a knife in downtown Austin is now behind bars. APD is looking for a man they say attacked an employee at an East Austin family dollar. One of the homeowners here in the Kingsland area is Nicole McLean. She sustained major, major damage to her home. First of all, Nicole, we are so happy to hear that you and your family are safe because that's what the most important thing is. As the election season ramps up, voters are scrambling to find reliable political data in real time. Cedar Park police tell us the suspect is still barricaded inside the home. While the opening ceremony of the Paris Summer Olympics kicks off tomorrow, but as spectators in France and viewers glued to their TVs at home are preparing to enjoy all the action. Sports psychologists say the athletes at this level, they're under some serious stress. Two football players at UT San Antonio are now off the team after being arrested for robbery. Notably, Congressman Lloyd Doggett of Austin was the first congressional Democrat to call for President Biden to bow out of the race earlier this month. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this one goes quite a bit faster than the other one. All right, just in emergency savings accounts, you know, you try to put some money away with that paycheck that you're getting. Right. Uh, ideally, how much should you have in your emergency savings? In all right, time to talk some trending stories. Your kids can cruise for free, but there's a twist. Your kids? Well, they have to be adult children. No, oh, this is not for me. <laughs> is this something that uh, people can try at the workshop on Sunday? They sure can. Okay. Now, Austin public health officials plan to provide an update during the Travis County Commissioner's meeting that is scheduled for 9 this morning. Time for some good news to brighten up your morning. SeaWorld San Antonio is currently in the midst of a summer baby boom. And probably not nearly as graceful as some of the dancers <laughs> here, but they're absolutely beautiful. Meanwhile, AFD says everyone is okay after another apartment fire early Sunday in South Austin. The two alarm blaze broke out shortly before 430 at the Sterling Springs apartments off of William Cannon near Westgate Boulevard. The fire was on the third floor of that building. Fortunately, crews were able to get to the flames and get them under control in just about 15 minutes. Volunteers teamed up on Sunday to help clean up an East Austin Park. The nonprofit World Mission Society Church of God was out in force on the Boggy Creek Greenbelt. Volunteers cleaning up trash and branches as well as spreading mulch around the trees to help keep them healthy. So what we're doing here, we want to be the salt and light of the earth according to God's teachings and have a good, clean environment for all of our neighbors and for all of the Austin community. Sunday's cleanup was just the latest the group has done throughout the greater Austin area. Many users on TikTok commenting they've tried the drink before, even calling it the Dr. Pepper Pucker. Dr. Pepper Pucker. I wonder what it tastes like. I Sweet, bet it's pretty good, it's honestly. Yeah? I think so. Yeah. Now, is it bread and butter pickles, regular pickles? Uh, I have that's the question, yeah. You know? I would want some spicy pickles in there. Really? Yeah. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. The Hippos came into the tournament a 10 seed, but have since pulled upsets over several tournament favorites. They've advanced past the likes of North Dakota's Ken Mare Honkers, the <laughs> two-seeded sure. Tarpon Springs Spongers. Wow, I haven't heard Spongers, of these. Spongers, I'm guessing. Sponge <laughs> or I like the Spongers, too. <laughs> One day there's a sign that's by the snacks. Exactly. One per, yeah. person, one per, per person. person. One per day. Yeah. That's all you need. A little regulation. Yeah. You don't need to tell anybody. On, you made don't that be stuff. rude. Have some manners. <laughs> exactly. Come on. Yeah. 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 That stuff yeah. is for here. It is work. Well, you might set your recyclable items out each week to do your part in protecting the environment. But what about larger or hazardous items? In this week's Jane's Jobs, I get the inside scoop on the Austin Recycle and Reuse Drop Off Center. Reduce. Reuse, recycle. Words literally taken to heart by employees of the Austin Recycle and Reuse Drop Off Center. They gathered 10 million pounds of reusable items from Austin residents just last year alone. We are trying to really uh, increase our recycling numbers and our reuse numbers to try to uh, prevent stuff from going to the landfill. The city of Austin hopes to achieve a zero waste initiative by the year 2040 meaning they wish to eliminate 90% of items that normally head to a landfill. And that's where the center comes in. They accept items not normally permitted in your regular curbside pickup. One of those items, 
Styrofoam. Styrofoam is a uh, real popular product that is a real, real versatile for uh, packaging, for insulation and all that, but it doesn't really break down in landfills. It takes a really long time. The styrofoam gets grinded down to something that looks similar to Laffy Taffy. It hardens and can be used to make a variety of plastics. Have a bunch of boxes? The center takes those too, but they ask that you break them down. So once this fills up a little bit, it'll run a cycle and then it'll do the whole thing over again. Compact till it gets full and they'll do that for 120,000 pounds a month. And then there's the issue of paint. You buy it for a splash of color, but what about all that's left over in the can? What we do here is open up every single can of latex paint that comes in. Um, they'll decide, we'll decide whether it's uh, good or bad, and if it's good, we'll try to take a look at what color is inside. And if it's good, the paint is mixed together to create a repurposed latex paint available completely free for residents inside the reuse center. The center is a gem for residents hoping to reduce their environmental footprint one recyclable at a time. Well, that's the only world we got, right? So should probably try to take care of it. And the center hopes to increase their collection goal to 14 million pounds for 2019. Drop-off is free for Austin and Travis County residents. For a list of accepted items, you can head to their website, austintexas.gov slash drop-off.